Good afternoon. That's us back out again. Um, doing a forest camp tonight. Weather's all right now, sun's out. But uh, we are forecast for rain later, so I'm gonna do a tarpon bivy camp in a forest. Bit of canopy to protect us a bit. But I think the walk out tomorrow could be a wet one, so I'm just gonna make my way up and get set up before it does rain. It is forecast to rain later on this evening, like, so we'll see. But uh, on the drive in to here, past a lot of tractors, must have been like a tractor run. There was loads of them. I just pulled over and videoed them as they were gone by, but uh, it was good to see. But uh, yeah, definite autumnal feel. The trees and the leaves are starting to turn. But uh, we will trap on and get set up further up. Yeah, just, just thinking to myself there, uh, this road has been nicely levelled off, it looks like it's been tidied up, so they're clearly bringing wood out. I'm just hoping they haven't blitzed the area where I'm going because that will change everything. <laughs> I'm hoping not, but they've definitely done some work since I was last appeared on this road. And I haven't been to this camp spot since last October, so nearly 12 months. And a lot could have happened then. There was trees dotted about that had markings on, but they've been like that for years, so fingers crossed nothing's changed. Yeah, clearance either side here and around here has all been bits of work done. Okay, just stopped for five. Set the pack off, it's cooled down a bit. I'm about an hour in, still got over an hour to go, so I thought I'll take this opportunity, have a drink, just have a breather, and then. Uh, carry on further up but uh, I was surprised the forecast wasn't supposed to be any sun at all it was just supposed to be overcast all afternoon but I'll have a bit of that eh right I'll bring you back further up the track see track there but uh, this isn't good <laughs> because they've cleared up where I'm heading. There's a lot of forest mines, so it could be any of this up here. I'm up to the, to the right and then back down again. So we'll soon find out. Okay, he's a big beast. But even that, he can't get through. So they haven't been down to chop these down in any time soon. He's been down for two or three years, maybe more. So yeah, this is as far as I've obviously got. Right, I've cleared it. It's a little one here, but I'll get over that. Right, back in the sheepfold. So it just needs a bit of a tidy up. There's a, quite a, a lot of fallen twigs and stuff since the last time I was here. Yeah, the little branches are still there, but there's plenty of deadfall lying about, so I'll have a tidy up and I'll bring you back. I need to get me, me tarp set up for tonight in case the rains come and then that job's done, really. Got the tarp set up in a fashion. 
I've got the three by three tonight, so I've got a bit more room. But I'm gonna, I've got my uh, German army mat. I'm gonna put that down. Um, it's very wet under here, very mossy and very wet. Okay, we're all set up. I'm in the Robins biffy bag tonight, side entry. Got a zip on that side there, and the Robins mat and sleeping bag. But yeah, as you can see, <laughs> that's some configuration of tarp in it. But it does the job. Got a pull out at the back, drops off here, and then it drops off down there. So if any water does get on, it's going to get away. And I've got loads of room, as opposed to when I used um, last time I was up here, I used. Just a smaller um, tarp S. So this is the three by three one, but and the rest of my stuff. But need water, and I also need some wood. So let's get a move on because it's ten past five now. So there was a few midges knocking about, so it's damp wood will work a treat because it's very smoky. Right, so I've got the old game camera with us. I brought it last time I got, I think it was a mouse. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick it further in the forest somewhere. I'll look for a little game trail or something, if it usually is. You can see where they've been, their chosen paths that they have. And uh, we'll try our luck again eh? but <laughs> Yeah, pretty smoky. It's just a load of smoke. Get out that way. But, uh, no midge, we have no midge, so it's got to be a good thing. There is a bit of a wind blowing, so because the last time I camped here it was completely still, not a breath of wind. Nothing special tonight, some pasta sauce, a bit of pepperoni and some carrots that I uh, part boiled earlier. So just get me water boiling up. Yeah, light is fading fairly fast, quarter to seven. It's getting dark just after eight nowadays, isn't it? So start putting some lights on. Finally, get to get something to eat. Time to crack one open. Cheers. It's gone uh, very dark all of a sudden. Uh, different from last time when I was in here when it was completely still, still. there's a bit of a wind and I keep eating the tops of trees clattering I mean it's it's only about a 15 mile an hour wind so there's no huh, he says no chance of them tumbling but you can just hear them clattering 
which sort of uh, keeps you on edge. <laughs> but the fire, the little wood stove, of it's the wood's just too wet. I, I mean, we've had like two days of really heavy rain, and it's, everything's sodden. So I've just give up on it, just causing them bloody uh, ash cloud all over the place. So I've just thinned it off. But I've got me a tiny rebel thing with us. The uh, Supposedly for, for mozzies in it, so maybe stick that on. I've never really used it, but it's the temperature's down to 12 now. There's no midge anyhow. Oof, yeah, there's a lot more noise in the forest tonight. Surprising, eh? That one I I've done it was com just completely still, nothing, zero wind. But, uh, there's a bit of it. You can hear it blowing through the trees, different parts behind us. Obviously the water's running down here, but the wind's sort of muffling that out as well. But uh, I'm just, it's back of eight o'clock now, and it is pretty dark now. So the nights are drawing in, autumn has arrived. So I've got one more drink, got a Jack Daniels and Coke and some chocolate as per. Lovely. Yeah, I don't know if uh, this camera won't pick it out. You might be able to just see a light. It's the uh, the light on the tiny repel. It does give off a bit of light. Right down the bottom of there. Okay, I'm going to call it a night. Um, just trying to rain. A shower come through there, so it's half past nine so I'm just gonna head underneath the tarp. I think I'll put my tea stuff and that down here because the forecast is for rain overnight so I'm gonna drop this corner on the tarp so if it does rain coming in this way I've got a bit of shelter so uh, yeah expect it to be wet in the morning one of those wet pack downs and a wet walkout so that's what the forecast says so, uh, we'll see what see what the morning brings. We'll catch you then. It's, it's quite disturbing, really, that until some sort of case is proven against uh, the man. Morning campers. Well, it wasn't really a bad night. We had a little bit of rain through the night, but uh, nothing here this morning yet. So, uh, got up about half past six, quarter to seven now, so I'll just start slowly packing down and uh, see what it. See what happens if it does rain. I mean, I've got all my waterproofs with us, so I'll need my leggings definitely for walking out because this section is very wet. But, uh, yeah, all quiet. Slept, you know, not bad. On and off. But I, I slept once I did get to sleep until half past six, so, so not too bad really. I've had a lot worse. The last time I was here it was just so quiet, I never couldn't sleep for some reason, but uh, didn't have that problem this time. Right, let's get sorted. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff packed down already. Just got a few more things. I never used the down jacket, but I've got my waterproof. Oh, sunglasses go away. Yeah, I'll need my leggings later on. Let's 
still too hot to drink. So I'll have to go up and retrieve the game cam. It's up the hill. I doubt I'll have anything on it. But yeah, I had uh, my earphones in listening to music till well after midnight. I took them out, drifted to sleep. I think the wind did get up, but I know for one, <clears throat> it pulled one of my guys out at the bottom end, then the pole dropped. It didn't affect us because it just landed on my feet. I didn't know it's till this morning. Um, but the ground's really soft. I should have brought me uh, eight inch Easterns. I've only got the, uh, the six inch ones in, and yeah, I've had to use on the back because they kept pulling out some uh, sticks about it was long 10 inches long it was anyway to, I should have really used them on the rest as well but uh, not to worry not to worry so yeah a decent night really I'm just gonna get packed away hopefully before any rain coming I, mean, I can see gaps in the clouds so there's you know there is a bit of clear sky knocking about as you say, it's difficult to tell how wet it's been during the night because I've got so much canopy above us. Right, it is raining. <laughs> Just started. I went up and retrieved the game camera. I got nothing on it. Not a person was me. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's tipping it now. So it's got the the tarp to drop and then put my waterproof on and head down because it's pretty grey and grim out there now. But the forecast wasn't far far wrong it, it was supposed to rain right through the night it probably did but I just never heard it eh? but uh, anyhow let's hit the hit the trail that's where it was left no trace so we bag to chuck on pick me poles up on the out So this is the markings I was on about yesterday. S1, P10. So yeah, it's been like this for years though. All right, I'm out of the forest, but as you can see, it is grim. Very grim. And wet. Yep, perfect weather for frogs, eh? That last little bit and drop down onto the track. This stuff is an absolute nightmare to walk on. We're back on the forest tracks now. That was the shortcut. I come yesterday the long way around, but this probably cuts off half an hour, so I don't mind on the way back in the rain. I'm sweating, so waterproofs. Yeah. But it was forecast to be a stinker this morning and they're not far wrong, are they? I've just taken five shelter in this wooden shooting hut, I think it is, but oh, the felt's come off the roof, so it's sodden, the floor's rotten. It has got some kind of shelter, not the worst. Could be refelt in the roof. It is horrible out there. But I think I'm just going to carry on because. It ain't gonna stop, is it? Ain't gonna stop. Okay, I'm gonna bring this one to a close. So, from a soaking wet Kershaw forest, thanks for watching. <laughs>